What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today. As you can see, I got some corals in from uh, another eBay seller. And I'm going to show you what I got, how it was, and uh, we'll check it all out here in a minute. Now I picked up a few Zoas and the seller that I bought from is A Reef Insanity on eBay. And uh, he had quite a lot of selections, uh, really quick on the responses. Um, I had questions answering me back timely and I, and I mean like within the hour and uh, I had like I said lots of cool uh, Zoas. Um, the thing about eBay you don't really know who to trust this is why I am doing videos like this so that way you can kind of see all right give the little underdogs a chance you know the last video I did got some great frags this guy same thing a reef insanity good selection of frags and I bought quite a bit and I'm going to show you those here in a second. Now what I like about eBay is that uh, I can get quite a variety of uh, Zoas, Pallies, different corals and brought in my selection of coral. Uh, some of the stuff that I can't find here locally I could definitely find it for a good price online. Um, I did like that he, um, he personalized his Zoas, uh, he wrote me messages and and he wrote what each coral was because you know uh, that way I can go ahead and keep tabs of it see what it is in person he did have a what you see is what you get and uh, same thing uh, on my other order what you see is what you get what you see in the picture is exactly what you get in uh, person so I did like that and that was a nice touch so hopefully this uh, video is exciting for you as it is for me I always love getting new corals and uh, man I can't wait to get these variety of colors inside of my tank and you know you start off with a little frag of something one or two polyps uh, or one or two heads of a coral and then you forget about it because later on you see it all every day and uh, all of a sudden you have a whole colony of just color exploding in your tank and that's the the main addiction uh, of this reef tank and that's why um, I just love the different color Zoas that I can get. I can't wait to show you what these uh, Zoas and Pallies look like. These Rose Nebulas are going to look pretty sweet in my reef tank. The crazy thing about Zoas, I have to write them down because I start forgetting all the different names but can't wait to show you what these look like in the tank once they get acclimated and start opening up and uh, how they look and the color pops under the blues. What are some of your favorite Zoas and Pallies? Um, who have you guys ordered from? Do you guys order from eBay? Do you guys order strictly on Reef to Reef, on the forums, on Reef Central? Um, I wanna know who you guys get your corals. Do you guys only get them locally from uh, your local fish store? Do you have a local fish store? Um, how do you guys get your coral fixed? I got lots and lots of candy and I'm going to show you what they look like here under the blues and keep in mind I already have a whole bunch of different other zoas and uh, zoas is just short for zoanthid which is these corals right here but um, it's a type of coral so I just say zoas instead of zoanthids but it's pretty cool it is uh, an expensive hobby reefing getting uh, your collection going of different corals and adding them in the tank but you can see that these are looking sweet these ones are from a reef insanity right here in the front and off to the left is the ones that i picked up from my last coral haul so as you can see i have a ton of different variety and colors and i'm just enjoying it These aren't going to stay very long in my frag tank. My frag tank is a innovative marine 25 gallon lagoon tank. It's filled with a whole bunch of variety of other corals and colors. And uh, that's what makes this tank look great with all the different colors as you can see. Um, started off, like I said, one or two heads and uh, they just blew up and exploded into a whole different colony as you can see on some of those frag discs over there. And hopefully these guys right here will grow all over. I'm putting these in the main display. Uh, I have a 150 gallon tank 
they're gonna go in there I'm gonna glue them onto some live rock let them do their own thing space them out so I can have a good amount of growth and everything will be able to grow out they won't be all crushed and smushed together as you can see let's zoom in a little bit closer and see these bad boys opening up love the colors um you know because when you get started in a reef tank you have a lot of green everything that you get your hands on is green and uh, i want some popping colors yellows reds oranges you know peach violets purples that's what i want i don't want so much green i want the variety of different colors and something that you got to think about when you get corals because like i said when you first start off you can get your hands on green and you'll think that's cool but as you advance later on you're gonna want the blues you're gonna want the reds and uh that's a the fun part of reefing i prefer having a mixed reef and mixed reef with the soft corals, the torches, zoanthids, SPS, and the different fish moving around in the tank uh, just makes it perfect for me, in my opinion. And uh, right now I have the top down with the flow cut. And uh, this is one of my favorite views coming home and looking at the tank. Something I do want to mention is that you want to coral dip, use coral dip on any brand new corals. Uh, which is just a solution that you put a few drops in uh, like a cup. You uh, kind of sanitize your corals and you watch all, if any bugs fall off, uh, because you don't want to introduce them into your new system. Um, if you don't do the coral dip, you're really, really rolling the dice. Uh, you could be introducing a lot of different pests into your tank and uh, things like Aptasia. You might not have a Aptasia problem now, but they might sneak in on a coral if you don't pay attention. Um, doing a coral dip on some Aptasia is not gonna do anything to the Aptasia, but it will do take off like bugs, flatworms, and things like that. But if you can kind of see Aptasia like on any frag plug, you would have an opportunity to put some super glue on it or scrape it off or do something else uh, before you introduce it into a cup, which is the whole purpose of doing a coral dip so you can do a closer inspection on your corals not only that but you're also looking for asterina starfish if you spend your money on uh, these nice expensive corals you're going to need something to protect it like a second line of defense and that is a harlequin shrimp uh, the harlequin shrimp eats starfish of all different sizes right now his favorite meal is a chocolate chip starfish which i got from my buddy javier here locally mr reefing chef on the ig brought me this chocolate chip starfish for my uh harlequin shrimp but this harlequin shrimp will also eat those pests asterina starfish you say why are they pests because they eat your corals enough said about that so you gotta feed this guy the harlequin shrimp uh they're really hard to find for some reason uh and uh, so i just take care of mine and this guy takes care of my zoas in by eating all the pest starfish um now this guy when he eats his starfish um he doesn't eat it overnight he wrestles it flips it over and then he uses his fangs and dips it into the little feet as you can see I always feel bad introducing chocolate chip starfish into my tank um, but the harlequin fish shrimp needs to eat and uh, at one time i had two harlequin shrimps in here but i don't know what happened to the second one i did feed it but never saw it this guy over the time has gotten really big like the size of your thumb and uh, he eats the chocolate chips maintains all the asterinas keeps those all in check uh he still hasn't ate all the asterinas in my 150 but uh they're not as prominent as they used to be uh where they used to just come out on the front glass but I really want to hear where you guys get your corals. If you guys shop on eBay, would you guys shop on eBay? Who are your favorite preferred ways to get new corals? What do you think about my coral haul? And uh, let me know. I hope you like this video and you hit subscribe so you can check out the next videos. And also hit that bell notification because I don't always post videos on Sunday. So whenever I do post something, uh, you guys will be in the loop. Hope you guys have a good one. You guys take care. 
like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one guys